So hi there. Well, we missed a bit of an episode where I, where I finished off my Holy War to conquer uh, Toledo. We disputed those titles, married off some family members. Not that much exciting happened. I had to get a new wife because my other one proved to be disloyal. But this one's already had two more kids for, for the family, which is not bad. They're good in all, all little counties. So apparently we have a dangerous faction. Ooh. These two dukes, Duke Sudoslav and Duke Clements. Okay, we, maybe we should address this first. So we'll try and get them on side. Send them some gifts. In a way, this is a bit risky because maybe they'll just turn against us and then there's, uh, there's no point sending them these things. But you know, loyalty is uh, something which is difficult to guarantee. So Craig wants to lower crown authority, I don't, don't like the sound of that, come on. Does he want someone's vassal, vassalage, I'm guessing? He wants the Kingdom of Aragon and the County of Valencia, oh god. See, you raise someone up and they just, they just want to betray you, it's typical demand his religious conversion. Oh god, he's orthodox. Craig is a, is a heretic. I'm not sure what we'll do about that. I probably shouldn't have let all these orthodox people into the kingdom in the first place. Obviously a mistake. Mistake has been made. Try, try to imprison Prince... What? Why is, why is he plotting against us? What's going on? He wants to kill Fernando Garces. What? Why does he want to do that? Well, that's just bizarre. I don't know why he's doing that. But I'll leave it to him. It doesn't really matter. So, let's just quickly improve the happiness of some of my dukes. So, Craig hates me. This guy needs an honorary title. He seems quite loyal, though, so maybe I'll make him my uh, cupbearer. And uh, apparently there's... Oh, how come once again we have an issue with... Uh, I can only see two of my dukes, even though I know I have a lot more dukes than that. Sudoslav. Oh, he doesn't really like us. Should a man's religious conversion? Okay, have, have we got some absurd number of uh, foreign rulers? Let's take a look. Ooh. Actually, there are, there are a few. I don't understand what the colour of the I mean, I think green... It's Muslim, this colour is us, yellow is uh, orthodox, but it doesn't look that bad. Maybe it doesn't tell me what the local people are, though. Maybe that's the problem. Oh well. Is our income okay? Our income is alright. Oh well, we just lost a marshal and a chancellor somehow. Baron of Loire. And the Baron of... Ilicus. I think I just appointed them on merit. So these factions should, in theory, become less dangerous as my reserves of men regrow after the Colossal War, which I won largely thanks to the intervention of some holy orders and some money from the Pope. <sighs> I will not be blackmailed. Accept that holy war against some random people. Okay, so we have a rebellion already. Let's call upon our allies. He doesn't want to help us. He might help us. We have no other allies. Well, that's fantastic. Looks like we're very short on men, which is a bit alarming. Okay. Well, so they've got 3,000 men, and I have only maybe 1,000 men. It's not ideal. So I think we'll need some mercenaries, like a basic mercenary force. Let's arrange them by cost. 
So these guys cost 75, 10 gold a turn. So we'll hire the, the Catalan band, because I suppose they are Spanish. And we can only have them for a limited period of time, unfortunately. Uh, so he wouldn't help me in my war, of course not. Oh, but France has joined my war at least. So I married Monica off to the King of France because because uh, she's Orthodox, and that's not really ideal. I might have kept her around, but it just, just wasn't wasn't any good. Oh, he's got some massive horde of reinforcements. It's not good. Hopefully France's aid will make the difference. We need to win this war, really. We are losing money. Can't ransom anyone. Could prove problematic. Can we appoint... I think we could appoint better generals now, though. I think now we have enough crown authority. There we go. Three good generals. Could help. Oh, they've got 8,000 men, though. Oh, my God. Okay, we need to fall back. Where's that other army? Gonna fall all the way back to Alto Aragorn, it looks like. Set that up, okay. 8,000 men is a lot of men. So, without the help from France, we're going to be stuffed. I don't know how it's doing it getting here. Looks like it's heading the wrong way, unfortunately. I guess they're fighting a war with the Flanders, it looks like. Are they going to catch us? If they do, then we're, we're in serious trouble. Oh my god, they're closing us down. So is this province defendable? It might not be, you know. They might catch us here. Is that important? I don't know. Oh, we've been caught. So our army is, is pretty much doomed. We have a defensive advantage. We're fighting in the mountains. We're treated to our mountain fastness to face the, the massive enemy horde. We have our best generals. But that might not be enough, if I'm honest. Oh, looks like actually we have one. So that was basically miraculous. God has smiled on us, probably because we defeated uh, the evil hordes of Muslims. Call upon another ally. Craig of Medina, he likes my enemies too much. That's a bit irritating. Well, I, I seem to be haters. Not good. So we're slowly going to grind out his army. My strength should regenerate faster than his because I do have more land. Where's he going? He's going to Zaragoza. So we will also go to Zaragoza. Maybe we need to stay and fight this guy. That's a bit confusing. Can we recruit more men? We can. Send them all to Zaragoza. Hopefully the French will come soon. 
for any new dairy enforcements or with our money going down. We're not going to keep these mercenaries forever and they're making up a large part of our strength. Okay, we captured some mail. Okay, well, we're going to head over to conquer their territory now. Who's leading this rebellion? The Count of Castello Branco. So we'll capture Castello Branco first, I guess. Oh, we're at war with the Dunedin Emirate. That's a bit confusing. Where's Alania? High, high Chief. I assume that because he was a High Chief? Yeah, he's not Muslim. Why, why is he being helped by these people? It's a bit bizarre. Maybe it's just because they don't like me. They're willing to help those people. Where's, where, where are those provinces? I think the war's going on over here, so it's just... Uh, how inconvenient that like, they have allies all the way over here. Who aren't even of the same faith as them. Vanity is a sin. My money is your money, darling. My beloved wife is constantly bored and keeps talking about new fashion. Yeah, she can have it, whatever. Don't really care. So we've got a bit of a civil war going on. I'm gonna have to wipe them out, of course. Because that's just the way things go. Okay, yes. <laughs> Another mass of hoarded men. This is so irritating. I'm not sure what I'll do about that. It's a bit too big for me. I think it's hostile to us for some reason. It looks like they're also fighting... Uh, is that the Pope? Not the Pope, it's not the Keys, is it? Don't know. Don't know whose symbol that is. Navarro, apparently. So these people. We're gonna win this war, hopefully. My wife's pregnant again. I guess she was happy with my, my money. Is he fighting the King of France? Uh, these guys want independence as well. So what... Do Clements the first becomes independent? Or does he actually rule? The Duchy of Mallorca. The County of Mallorca. Hmm. Who's backing him? The Duke of Benevento. We'll let that guy go for now. We can wage war on them later to reclaim it. If someone else doesn't wipe them out first. <clears throat> that way I don't have to fight the Duke of Benevento. Oh no, he appears to have got independence as well. That's uh, that's bizarre. But it didn't say he would get independence, did it? Okay, well. Doesn't matter, we're never going to hold those Italian provinces anyway. probably won't bother to reclaim them. Menorca I'd quite like to reclaim. And the Byzantine War ended it inconclusively. Loads of people upset with me. Okay, a new daughter. Let's call her Trisha. Have I used Trisha? I don't think I have. Let's see what plots are going on. Nothing against us, it seems. The church was always a miracle play for a local saint. They seem to feel we should pay for it. Uh, okay, it's for the glory of God. It's not good because we're running out of money, but uh, the war will be over soon, hopefully. Uh, 
Ah, uh, John is now known as the Great. John the Great. Fantastic. I guess he finally got enough prestige. Who? Who's a, who's a Zana? I don't remember having a, an Azana. Who's his father? Prince Helge of Norway. Count of Salamanca. It's weird. Okay. Well, you can't have it, as far as I'm concerned. How many votes do we all have? Do we still all have one vote? As long as the Dukes don't unite with each other against me, I think I can generally win all the votes. We've almost won. Then we can unrecruit these mercenaries who are costing a fortune. Well, apparently that's not enough. Hey. I think this army might march out, unfortunately. They're not all with us, so maybe they wouldn't. As usual, the civil war is being used as an opportunity by these guys to steal our territory. But I guess it might get rid of uh, the Duke of Portugal, if there's a Duke. Well, unless I'm the Duke of Portugal. I might be, actually. Yeah, I am. <laughs> mm. I have to reclaim that. At some point. John the Great's rule has seen some, some good things happen. The French army just actually just not doing anything. We lost a bit of territory, I guess, on the fringes. But we solidified our central central power. Bishop Alvar has been approached by the Pope and, just, and is disregarding our lawful rights. Or someone read it with me of this troublesome priest. Oh. The presence of revolt in Alcer de Sal. Do we need to go and deal with that? I don't even know where it is. Oh, it's down there. Alright. Well, let's not panic yet. Okay, I think he's offering peace. All these traitors can, can go, I think. Can I revoke his title? Has he got a title? Oh, they lost that war, did they? A bit confused. Is he not? Is he not from my kingdom? Should we revoke this guy's title? No, we can't revoke his title. True, we can revoke this guy's title. He he basically directly betrayed us. Yeah, you know he likes us. He he even betrayed us. That's a bit uh, unfortunate. Revoke his title. So now we're count of Castello Branco, which is a rubbish province. Okay, we can give it to to one of our one of our heirs. Give it to Prince William. Anyone else we can revoke the title of? We, can we ransom this guy yet? No. Count of Bra Braganka? We can revoke his title? No, we can't. Okay. Even though he betrayed us, apparently he's alright. Shall I release him? Maybe, maybe I should. Does his son like us more? His son likes us more, so actually we'll keep him in prison until he dies. We'll ransom this mayor back. Just because we need the money. So the Count of Santiago, we can't, uh, can't revoke his title for some reason. So I guess we'll just ransom him. He might betray us again, but we can just wage war on him. If we have to. Why is she why is my wife leading a plot? What's it a plot against? Some random person. Okay, well, that's fine. Santiago, Santiago. Don't remember where that is. Santiago's up here. Yeah, okay. 
Or someone maybe this troublesome priest. Lots of uh, hostile priests it seems. Well, money's going up again though, so it's alright. Situation is under control. They have a son. So I could grant this guy a title as well. Maybe I should have given him the title. Oh well. Maybe the next war will do it. So we added Toledo. So our personal provinces. Uh, Leon, which is good. Jacka, which is good. Zaragoza, which is potentially good, but not that good right now. Valencia, which looks good. Toledo, which is good. And of course, our little barony. Which actually earns us uh, about as much as the whole, the whole county of Leon, anyway. Bizarre. Hmm. But anyway. Oh, we converted some people to the Catholic faith, that's good. Let's take a look at our situation. It's looking alright. There we go, so we defeated the rebellion. Kingdom's back on track, we lost a bit of Portugal again. We'll probably just declare war for Portugal, to be honest. have a de, de jure claim on Portugal. We could do a Holy War for Portugal, which would give us the whole place, so that's what we want to go for. We can't do that right now, we probably need a bit more money. I think we can, we can probably wrap up here for now. 